All right, time for Scout versus Scout. Daniel Jeremiah joined by Bucky Brooks. And, Bucky, it's that time of year. Every year we hand out the Heisman Trophy, which gets us to talking about some of the legendary guys that have gone on to have successful NFL careers. But not all of them have had such luck. No, not all of them. And there's no discredit or disrespect to what they did as collegians. Sometimes the pro game is different. We're going to talk about some of those guys that weren't able to make the transition. All right, let's go top five Heisman busts. So this, as it relates to their NFL career, number five on the list. Matt Liner. Now, I'm going to say this as a scout. Matt Liner, I gave a big grade to. I thought Matt Liner was going to be a spectacular player in the National Football League. I thought he was going to be a guy that could give the ball to all the playmakers on the perimeter. In Arizona, based on the personnel that he had around him, I thought he would flourish. Didn't happen for him for whatever reason, on and off the field, couldn't get it together. And even though he had a very, very good career at FC, couldn't translate that into success as an NFL player. How about a guy, look, my, my familiarity with the Baltimore Ravens, haven't spent the time there, Troy Smith, a guy the Baltimore Ravens drafted, uh, wins the Heisman Trophy, but six years in the NFL, eight starts, eight touchdowns, five picks, uh, didn't give you a whole lot. Famously, was going to be the starter Joe Flacco's rookie year. He has a little injury. Next thing you know, Joe Flacco steps in, takes over, and pretty much spelled the end of Troy Smith's career. Yeah, he was a really good player at Ohio State. He was a guy that had uh, that dual threat capability. He was one of the first guys in the league to be able to do it. Couldn't tr quite get it done. All right, let's stay at the quarterback position. We've gone to, let's get a third in here. How about one from Oklahoma? How about this? Jason White. Jason White wins the Heisman Trophy with a guy that uh, had a lot of success at Oklahoma, but this is a guy that never even had an opportunity to play in the league. Sweet, still, sweet still photo. I know, I like that, though. Nice. Uh, had trials at the Titans and the Chiefs, but didn't quite get the opportunity to really get on the field. It's unfortunate, but look, one of the best college players we can ever talk about. All right, this next one for me, this is uh, this is personal. <laughs> because your kid growing up in San Diego, and it's somebody that's been around Marshall Falk here at the NFL Network uh, and NFL Media, Gino Toretta stole that Heisman from Marshall Falk. But he had no business winning that award, and obviously you go on to the NFL. Uh, five years in the NFL, didn't start a single game. We all know how Marshall did. Yeah, we do know how Marshall did, but look, it was the U. The U was very big then, back then. Yeah, it was still, that was criminal. Uh, all right, that's number two on our list. The number one biggest Heisman bust, who you got? I'm going to go with the indecisive Eric Crouch. Look at that photo. A guy nice. who was, look, outstanding run pass threat at Nebraska. He had it really executed the triple option offense, drafted by the St. Louis Rams, expected to play wide receiver, said that he didn't want to play wide receiver after he gets there, never has an opportunity to play again in the National Football League, bounced around, had a couple tryouts, went to CFL, never quite happened for him. But, look, he was a really good player executing that option on the Tom Osborne crew. Well, we're both looking forward to watching who takes home this year's Heisman Trophy. And hopefully they go on to have a long, successful NFL career. Now, for more on everything college football, everything NFL draft, be sure to visit NFL.com slash CFB 24-7.